Are you dealing with pain from bone on bone arthritis and are sitting there thinking to yourself, I just wish I could find pain relief. You're in the right place because I am here to tell you it is possible. It's possible to be able to get up and down from the floor again, to kneel again, to get your mobility back, to go out shopping again. Take it from these people. These people took a leap and took action to say, you know what? I'm ready for a challenge. So go ahead and grab a chair and join me in this workout. We are gonna start seated in a chair. I want you to scoot to the edge of the chair, both legs at about 90 degrees or as close as you can get them, both feet on the floor. Do a few shoulder rolls here. You're sitting up nice and tall, but don't accentuate your chest. Essentially stick your chest out when you have a big arch back here, okay? You can even just do a few rocking your hips back and forth. And I want you to find the center, okay? So we're not out proud here. Just find the center, find what feels good to you. Now, what I'd like you to do first is at your ankles, I want you to lift your heels up and then lift your toes up. Lift your heels up and then lift your toes up. Now lifting your toes is not going to be as high as the heels and that's okay, but we're really starting to activate those shin muscles. Very important for walking. This is one of my favorite movements to do when you're seated for a while. This really helps to get the blood flowing. Let's just do three, two, and one. Now what I want you to do is slide one leg out and then slide the other. You can take this one step further by kicking one leg out and then the other. Slide to make it a little easier or kick. The whole purpose of this goal is to make you feel good. If kicking your leg out is painful, it's way too hard, that's okay. You will get there. Start here, start just sliding that leg out as far as you can. I'd like you to get straight, but if you can't get there yet, that's okay too. The key word is yet. I want you to work on this. Let's just do two more each side. Last one, each side. Excellent work. Now what I'd like you to do is take your right leg and put it out just as straight as you can get it. We are focusing right on this thigh muscle right here. What I'd like you to do is try to push your knee down, essentially trying to squeeze this thigh muscle. Not as hard as you can, okay, so we're not creating tension throughout our whole body. I just really want you to focus on trying to squeeze this thigh. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. You're gonna squeeze and hold for a count of one, two, three, and then relax. Push down, even sometimes it helps if you touch the muscle so you can tap it. Sometimes that helps if you're having a hard time getting it to squeeze. One, two, three. We're just gonna do two more here. Just trying to get some blood flow through here. Squeeze down, one, two, three. Let's go one more time. Push down and squeeze, one, two, and three. Go ahead and slide that leg back. Now I'm taking the other one out. Again, as far as you comfortably can. And again, I want you just to try to squeeze, even if your leg doesn't get all the way straight, that's okay. I just want you to squeeze that leg down and into that thigh muscle, okay? Squeeze, you should see some muscles contract. And if you don't, try the tapping. See if you just touching that muscle, it's like, oh hey, I should be working. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna hold on the count of three, we're gonna do three of them, ready? Down, one, two, three. Relax, check in with your posture. Is your back starting to get tight? Maybe you're hunched over too far, maybe you're arched too far, just check in. And then down, one, two, three, relax. And then one more time, we're gonna push that knee down. One, two, and three, go ahead and slide it back. Now what I'd like us to do is we're going to open up the hips one at a time. So. Take the right leg and you're essentially just gonna open up at the knee. I'll show you from the front in a second and then I'm gonna take my left leg and open up in the front. So here's what it looks like from the front. If 
Think about from the knee, okay? So we're not sliding out this way. Open up this way. If you wanna take this one step further, you can actually lift your leg lift your leg, but if that's not comfortable for you today, that is okay. You're taking what your body is giving you and that is okay. I'm proud of you for showing up here because that shows me that you are dedicated to feeling better, getting rid of this pain, getting your mobility back. And this is a great place to start. We're gonna go two more times each side. So you're just either sliding open just as far as you can. Last one or picking your leg up and rest. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'd like us to do is go right back into the lifting of the heels and lifting into the toes. Just a few more repetitions here. Three, two, and one. Now we are going to go into standing. So go ahead and stand up and position yourself right next to the chair so you can use it for support. We are now going to be working in standing. For any of these movements, you can use the chair next to you for support, or you can use it in front of you with both hands and that's going to give you more support. What I'd like us to start with first is you're going to lift one heel and then the other. Notice when I lift my heel, my knee will bend slightly. I'm working on shifting my weight from one side to the other. Now keeping both feet on the ground allows you to also offset some of that weight so you're not shifting all of your weight, it's just some of it to get your knees used to this again because this is the exact movement you need for walking but you need to be able to unweight each leg. This is a great way to really help that. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Now what I would like us to do is you can either put your feet together, just as close as you can get them. This is for balance. Now if you think your balance is pretty decent, then what you can do is instead stagger your feet one foot in front of the other. Now from here, what I would like you to do, if you need to hold on, you're just basically going to swing your arms. If you need to hold on, you'll swing one. If you do not need to hold on or want to test your balance, you can swing both. If you wanna make this even harder, you can stack your feet one right on top of the other or one right in front of the other and do the same thing. Three, two, and one, now you're gonna switch. I'm just switching my feet, whether they were staggered or if they were together, then you're just gonna stay here for an additional 15, 20 seconds. Find your position and either swing one arm or both, whatever you're feeling today. Balance is incredibly important for knee arthritis. You might notice that all of your muscles are trying to work to keep you in this position. Primarily your hips, your feet might be a little wobbly and that is okay. That means they're working. Your core is working. Your thighs are working. So balance is so incredibly important and pretty easy to incorporate throughout your day as well. Three, two, and one. Now I would like you to shift so you're facing your chair now. And what I'd like you to do is take one step backwards and then the other. Now you can go nice and slow if you need to. You can also speed it up if you're feeling good today to make this more challenging. Of course, you can let go. So now you're accepting full weight, holding on, just offload some weight. Four, three, two, and last one, excellent. Now I'd like you to keep standing behind your chair. I want you to step back so your arms are straight when you're reaching for the chair. I'm going to unlock my knees 
by just allowing them to relax. I kind of like to do this shaking motion here. Now, I want you to focus on sitting your hips back without bending your knees. This is by no means a squat. You're just sitting your hips back. If you need to, you can also actually take your hands and put them right at your hips and physically push your hips back. Notice my knees aren't moving. This is one of the most pivotal movement, movements to master because what you should be feeling is in the backs of your legs, perhaps a stretch through the glutes. Those muscles don't get stretched super often and we tend to neglect the back of our legs and we use other muscles to help take them over. We wanna get those muscles working. So whether you're just pushing your hips back or you're here, you're looking straight in front of you. Think about looking right in front of the chair. Just gonna do three more. This movement may require some practice. And last one right here. Excellent work. Now, if you wanna turn, so now you're, if you were only using one hand, you can come back there. What I'd like us to do now is focus on standing on the left side and then you step with the right. Now notice my support is on my right side and my stationary leg is the left leg. So the leg in the middle is moving. This is how you should set yourself up when you are using support. If I had support on the other side, that tends to facilitate a lot of leaning and it can be hard to give your body the full support. I want your chest up and proud, not arched forward, but looking forward. Three, two, and one. Excellent, now we're gonna switch. So I'm actually going to move my chair. You can, of course, step around it. This one's nice and light. I really love to use patio chairs for these types of videos and for just workouts in general because they're firm and usually they're fairly light. Same thing, I'm standing on my right side. Now again, notice the leg that's moving is in the middle. If you can incorporate sideways and backwards movement into your daily life, that would be amazing and your joints will thank you for that. It's something we don't do very often but it's something that can start to work the muscles that maybe aren't working as well as they once did because we don't move sideways or we don't move backwards very often. So it's just something to think about. Four, three, two, I'm gonna show you one more movement. And this one I'm going to again face my chair. I'm going to try to lift one heel up and then the other. Now I like this one for two reasons. One, it tends to work your knee range of motion, that knee bending. So if knee bending is hard for you, then this movement can really help to lubricate that. I also like to do this if you are um, out shopping or you find yourself standing for a long period of time. This movement, as long as it feels good to you, can really help to get the blood flowing, especially if you're standing with your legs straight. Getting them to bend a little bit can help to relieve some stiffness and some pain. So just something to think about. And then another reason, it works the backs of your legs. So especially if you feel the hamstring, so that's the muscle that's behind the thigh. If you feel some maybe cramping there, that is a sign that you need some more of this. Those muscles are craving that strength, okay? And it also forces you to put all of your weight on one side and then shifting over to the other side, which is important for walking. Three, two, and last one. I am so incredibly proud of you for sticking with me on this. I know that dealing with bone on bone pain, whether it's in your knees, hips, wherever it is, I know that it is not easy. But guess what? You are one of the ones that showed up today and are ready to get some pain relief and you are ready to work for it. You are not afraid of a challenge. I do have two other bone on bone videos that can take you through different workouts, take you through different movements to help you to continue to build strength. I will put the link to both of those down below and I hope to see you there.